As part of our project to modernize the underlying code of our website to improve its maintainability and security, we have also updated the user interface. This will go live shortly after the November annual meeting, so you may already be seeing the new look at aavso.org. Our latest news and announcements will be front and center on the new look. When you scroll down to the lower portion of the home page, you will find links to the resources that are most important to our community. Below that, you find the traditional AAVSO at a glance, links to our sponsors, and links to our social media pages. When the new look appears on the screen, your first question may be, where did my stuff go? This short briefing will show how you navigate the new website to get the information and tools that you need. Two key points. First, almost everything that was on the old website is still there. You should not have lost access to any functions that you routinely use. Second, there are now two menus. Tabs along the top of each page reach primarily information about the AAVSO and information aimed at people who are not experienced observers, while the resource boxes in the middle of the home page primarily reach tools that are used by observers and researchers. Here is the menu of tabs that runs across the top of the home page and of all other pages as well. It brings you information about the AAVSO and about variable stars. The next level down menu items give you information on who we are, getting started with variable stars, community and activities, and how to get involved with AAVSO, variable star observing and science. The resources boxes are located in the middle of the home page here, and they link to things that are primarily of use to researchers and observers. Here are the nine resource boxes. The top row links to variable star information, the AAVSO's variable star index, our pick a star app, and the journal of the AAVSO. The middle row links to observer support resources, submitting and accessing data, tools, and the observing section pages. The bottom row links to training and education, membership, and donations. The next few slides show the second level down links in each of the resource boxes. Along the top row, the resource boxes link to the variable star index page that you already know, the pick a star app that you already know to plot light curves, see recent observations, and create a finder chart for a star of interest, and the journal of AAVSO page that you are used to. The middle row of resources is shown here. Submit and access data takes you to AV spec to submit or retrieve spectra, web obs for photometry, and exosite for exoplanet transit data, plus there are links to APAS, Agen cards, solar, and SID data. The tools and observer resources box links to the page that you used to find under observing at a glance, containing a large collection of resources for observers, but with a new look and a few additional links. The Observing Sections box takes you to the Observing Sections page that you already know. The bottom row of resource boxes links to Education, where you will find online courses, observing manuals, etc., and Join or Renew Your Membership and Donate to support the AAVSO's activities. At the beginning of this video, I said that almost everything from the old website is still here. In order to ensure a secure and supportable website, we have migrated from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8. A few of our existing tools are not compatible under Drupal 8, but we have made their functionalities part of new and more secure software. Specifically, we have been in the process of deprecating version 1 of the light curve generator for several years. It is simply incompatible with the new infrastructure. A combination of Light Curve Generator version 2 and VSTAR are able to replicate all relevant functions. The functionality of the Zapper tool can be found on VSTAR and Light Curve Generator version 2. The original Zapper tool will not be maintained further. The old Observation Planner tool will not be supported anymore. All functionalities of that tool are now available in the AAVSO Target tool. The Transform Applier tool is incompatible with the new IT framework. Its functionality has been added to VFOAT. 
Recall that you used to log in using a button in the upper right of the home page to get access to your profile. In the new website, you will use the My Account button, still in the upper right of the home page. The link to your profile is now within your My Account page. This is where you will find your sites, equipment, and newsflash. The links are all the same, but now you first click on the My Account icon. We hope that this description helps you make the transition to the new AAVSO website with good productivity. Maintaining software and ensuring proper functionality and security is a priority for the AAVSO. We want to do what's best for our community to grow and flourish, but avoid the burden of supporting old technologies. We are, of course, open to feedback, and we welcome bug reports and suggestions as you experience the new AAVSO website at aavso.org.